Hey y'all, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm going to try to fix some batteries. Now, these batteries, I don't know if I can even find a sticker on There's one. Um, I bought in April of 2014. This is April of 2019. And what the dirt and filth you see on them they were in service in my RV we had hooked up to our solar power for about a year and a half they have since sat in a shed for the last three and a half years and what you see on them is dirt and trash and mouse poop and mouse pee everything so I'm going to try to clean these off and I'm going to check the water levels, fill them up full of distilled water, put them on a charger, and see if, you know, I'll check with the meter where the volts are right now, as soon as I get it all cleaned off and everything. And then I'll put it up on a charger for a while, and see if these come back, and see how long they hold a charge. Since, you know, they were fully charged when I put them in the shed. I don't know if three and a half years of sitting there, unused, destroyed them or not. And we'll see if uh, we can get these things back in shape and use them out of the cabin. If not, they'll be good for a core charge for the next two batteries i got to buy. But I'll be back when I start cleaning these up. So all I'm going to do is use water on these from the hose for right now. I don't have a lot of faith in them being salvageable but water is not going to hurt it as long as it doesn't stay on it. That cleaned up better than I thought they would. No, I don't think you need a scrub brush. Well, yeah. I'm gonna get down you here. could take the tag off there. So that, 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 I don't have my... Uh, Joe? I don't have my knife with me. There's Charlie. I'm shooting chickens while I'm doing this. See There's only one in there. I don't know where the rest went. I think he got the hose going and so they took off. Oh. <laughs> There's Charlie. Charlie. Kitty kitty Charlie. Kitty kitty Charlie. I mean, these are sealed batteries, so I wasn't worried about having to clean off battery acid. So, we get them up in the sun so they dry. Now, when we were at Walmart, I forgot to get distilled water. So, Gail's going to go up to Kroger's and uh, get some water. I'll fill them up, and I'll set them up on the porch to to charge for a couple days and see what happens but let me get them dried off we'll be back all right so now I got them clean you can see these are Walmart batteries I bought them like I said five years ago 29 DC is the group size they're 114 amp hours each one so that gives me 228 amp hours once I get them all installed out there in the cabin, and I've got a 200 amp or two 100 amp solar panels, and it did just fine. It did a good job uh, in when they were in the RV. It gave us power all night long in the RV, charge up during the day, 
and we'd use it the next night. So they're really good for that. Um, if these come back and work, that's great. Uh, if they don't, like I said, they're you know they'll be the core charge for the next set I buy. They're ninety nine dollars at Walmart. So a cheap way to get into small solar and try it out and experiment. That's what I was doing. Um, and this is an experiment. See if I can salvage these. But tomorrow I'm probably not going to do anything because I want to leave these outside to charge them. Um, I'm going to. We're getting all kinds of thunderstorms tomorrow, so I'll probably wait till Monday. I'll hook them up out here on the deck, this back deck, up to the charger, and we'll see what happens. Let me go get my tester and see if I can get any kind of uh, voltage read off of these whatsoever. I'll be back. Now I'm going to test them. Uh, I dry them off, clean them off. If I get any kind of reading, you know, if it's completely drained down to zero, these batteries have a limited number of cycles they can be drained all the way down. Ideally, you don't go past 50 percent, which on these batteries fully charged, when you first test them they're going to read around 14. 50 percent is 12.3 uh, and you really don't want them to get below 12.3 but like I said these things have sat for three and a half years in that shed and been covered in rat poop and dirt and everything. So let's test this and see if I get any kind of voltage at all out of them. And why, did, even why was there rat poop in there? Because rats in the shed because what do we have? Chickens! And we have 87 cats that get fed daily that don't take care of the rats because you feed them. <laughs> if you let them starve they take care of the mice. Alright, you on the meter? Okay, no. Alright, here's battery number one. Let's hope for anything. Holy cow. 12.35. How's All that possible? Right. I don't know. Let's look at the other battery. That's not even less than half charged. Let's uh, see what the other one or says. half discharged. Okay, let me swap out these. And it says it keeps it moving. Yeah, I know. Moving. I don't have a good twelve point three five. Wow. Okay. So I can look at these again. Twelve point three five, and show. I'm really using the actual batteries. Yes, the actual <laughs> Those batteries. old batteries. Follow the cord, and it goes down to the meter. It says twelve point three five. All right. So these are at a less than fifty percent state of discharge. I don't know how that's possible, but it is. So these are good batteries. I can take these out to the cabin, hook them up, hook up the solar panels. And we'll have a light. And we'll see how long they last. Right. I don't have to go buy new ones. Um, totally unexpected. I don't know how that happened. I don't know why that happened. Well, I will say this. they were, Again, when I put them in the shed, they were fully charged. So I guess they sat in there through the three winters that we've had them sitting in the shed. And they didn't... Through the, through the polar vortex. Now, yeah, now I will tell you, I'll mention this to you guys watching these batteries. You do need to clean them. You saw the crud that was on these. Uh, and probably one of the reasons why the voltage did go down, not just time alone, but if you get dirt, a layer of dirt on top of these, that will create like a short between these poles. And it will slowly draw energy out of your battery bank. If there's a bunch of dirt on it, you need to, your maintenance on your battery bank, you need to make sure that you, uh, you know, dust them off, keep the dirt off of them. Uh, I don't have an explanation why I'm still, 
at 12.35 volts. I don't understand it, but I'm extremely happy. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and charge them. I'm going to put them on a trickle charge and bring them up to full charge again. And then I'll take them off the charge and just let them sit and rest uh, for a few hours and then test them again and see if I maintain 100% uh, charge. You know, hopefully it doesn't drop to 12.35, you know, 10 minutes after I take them off a charge. But I think these are good, solid batteries still. And uh, we'll see what a good charging does to them. But good news for St. Bernard Acres. This is Joe and Gail. We're out.